Hi, welcome to Super Tech USA. This is Mark. I'm doing a speed test for iOS 12.1 versus iOS 12.1.1. Let's see which starts up first. Looks like 12.1.1 started first, which I'm happy to see. As you can see here in settings, we're running on 12.1 versus 12.1.1. Now testing Face ID. 12.1.1. Let's keep doing it. 12.1.11. I'm glad, um, oh. Ooh, tie. All right, starting native apps. Calendar, that was instant. Camera. Hmm. Watch. I don't see faster in 12.1.1. Weather. Clock, instant, stocks. I felt like 12.1.1 was a tad bit faster, but generally the same. Now the app store, 12.1.1 was faster. Now messages. Maps. iTunes. Looks like 12.1 on this one. Sadly, news. Let's try NewYorkTimes.com. Oh, it looks like 12.1.1. Oh, but this loaded the entire page faster. Now we'll do third party app starting with Dropbox. Instagram. I think 12.1.11. Facebook. 12.1.1. Twitter. Twelve point one. Snapchat. Ty, Chase, now let's try out the games, starting with Pokemon Go.
so far, point one. Uh, definitely point one. Temple run. It's pretty close, the same thing. Now let's test the memory. Settings, 12.1 reloaded. Stocks, didn't reload. App Store didn't reload. Calendar didn't reload. Good memory so far. Just surprised the messages <laughs> had to reload. These I think had to reload, but they loaded pretty fast. Watch didn't reload. Weather reloaded on 12.1. Clock didn't have to load reload anything. But then again, it's such a simple app, did have to. That didn't reload. iTunes didn't reload. Apple News didn't have to reload. Okay. I think Safari reloaded. FaceTime reloaded on 12.1. Music didn't have to reload. Camera had to reload. Dropbox reloaded. Facebook had to reload in 12.1. Snapchat reloaded. Chase reloaded. Let's try eBay. eBay. Wow. 12.1 reloaded. Wow. Temple run. Has to reload on 12.1. Let's close everything. So since this isn't my phone and this is my actual phone, I'll do Geekbench first on 12.1 and then update it to 12.1.1. Geekbench it after that and then we'll compare. All right, so Geekbench 4, I'll show you that here I'm running 12.1, my history of uh, benchmarks for 12.1. My first results on single core and multi-core score, around the same single core and multi-core score. It always changes every time you do it, but it should be around the same number. Again, we're in 12.1 right now and I'll update it to 12.1.1 and do a Geekbench. Now let's do another Geekbench test. All right, so this is 12.1 versus 12.2 scores. 12.1 versus 12.2. So yeah, it looks like it hasn't really changed. It's always gonna be a different number every time you do it. So if it's around 80, for example, it really hasn't changed. So, yep. Scores are the same for 12.1.1 in general. All right guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I will do more reviews. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of watch band reviews, so watch those videos, because they're actually pretty entertaining. Yeah, and whenever new software comes out, try my best to 
get on top of it right away to make a speed test because I know I want to know how each software performs so I can decide whether I can upgrade or not. I hope this helped. Don't forget to leave a like if this actually helped. Thanks for watching.